Hello everybody and welcome back to Fall of Porcupines and where we left off in the previous one we were actually planning on making our way into town a little bit and explore this world a little bit more than uh, we used to previously. Did you hear that? I'm going to visit your mom's store. If you behave, I might bring you back a bag of a uh, fertilizer. <laughs> Alright, so we're just about to go to uh, the store. Oh, are we turning this on? Interesting. Pretty sure I'm not supposed to leave it on, right? I don't want my uh, house catching fire or something while I'm gone. Alright, let's just head on out and uh, see what we gotta do here. Hey buddy, still out here? Well, hey there. Don't I normally see you walking uh, the other way this time of day? Uh, night shift. Hmm, at St. Ursula's? Yep, that's right. I'm a doctor there. Hmm, yeah, I've seen you heading that way in the morning. Got me thinking, actually. I wanted to be a doctor once. Then I changed my mind. Too stressful, I figured. <laughs> Always good to know what good doctor do. That's true. And you now know a homeless guy. <laughs> Who knows when uh, they'll come in handy? <laughs> hmm. Do you need anything? Oh, Alfio doesn't need much. A quiet corner, a snack every now and then. Can't complain, eh? I wish I had a snack to give him, though. Uh, oh, I got some information about old Alfio. This morning, Alfio was sitting in front of my door. He doesn't seem to have a place to stay. Yeah, he definitely doesn't seem to have a place to stay. Alright, let's go on exploring the place then while we're at it. I want to see uh, what we can discover. Maybe we can uh, chat with brand new people, discover new people around, I don't know. I really love it that they decided to make all the characters in the game animals. And the art style is superb, I love it. Anybody down here? Ooh, look at that! There's a boar! <laughs> Hello, got anything today? Uh, the goal is not to catch things, young Finley. Nothing that would require a hook, at least. Hmm. So, what are you fishing for, then? Well, the cool air by the river. The murmur and gurgle of the waves. The depths of the stream of our consciousness. Moments like this one, that is what I fish for. Whoa. I think I might have just caught one as well. <laughs> or is this your moment? Hmm. This one is yours, Finley. You've earned it. <laughs> Thanks. How does this guy know my name, though? I don't get it. How does he know my name? He knew exactly what my name is. Uh, we also acted like we were friends, like long friends. That was a little bit strange. Anyway, uh, let me keep her going, then. Let me try to make my way in town. And uh, see if I can get to the general store. There we go. What else do we got here? I think the bus is now working, right? I really shouldn't take the bus today. Peanut store is about halfway to work. Besides, I can finally check out the high street on the way there. Yeah, I know, I don't. I didn't want to check on the bus. I uh, wanted to see what that's gonna say. So, am I supposed to take the bottom part this time? Because I see this place is not in construction anymore. Ooh, ice cream. I haven't had a single ice cream this summer. Hmm. I knew I was forgetting something. Yeah, you always have to have a little bit of ice cream every summer. Look at this store. Oh no. Pastries. My only weakness. What dastardly villain plays these cinnamon buns here? Uh, in broad daylight as well? I'll find you, you scoundrel. <laughs> I will find you and you will taste my sweet revenge. Can I go inside? No. Hey, mannequin, you're doing a great job. Thank you, it's my first day. I'm really nervous. Oh, look at that crow all the way on top of the building. Don't be, you look great. Hmm. Thank you, thank you. But it takes more than good looks to succeed in the fashion industry. Really? What else do you need? Willpower, the will to assert yourself in order to achieve your goals. When you look as good as me, you don't need luck. <laughs> I'm guessing he was kind of trying God, to make a uh, discussion with the mannequin itself. Hmm. I used to love sending postcards. If I ever have time, I'll send one to my parents. I'm sure they'd be delighted. Is this the one that I was uh, supposed to chat with? Hi, my name is Chloe Colbert. I run Origami, the stationery store. Do you have a moment to answer a few questions? Um... Sure, what's up? Ah, super. Well, we've noticed that our revenues have been on the decline for some time now. So we're conducting a survey of Porcupine's residents to see what we can do. Alright? Shoot. Uh, so, first question. Approximately how many pens do you own? Oh, uh, wow. 
that's a tough one right off the bat. Uh, I guess if I had to put a number on it, maybe five? Five pens. Okay, okay, okay. How many times a day do you use a pen? Uh, I need a lot of them when I was at university. Uh, these days, I do most things uh, digitally. Even the hospital went digital just before I moved to Porcupine. I see. Hmm. What about paper? Do you use paper? For writing? Not so much. Okay. All right, that's it. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Uh, we'll try to pivot our portfolio to meet the current needs of Porcupine's population. No problem, happy to help. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, nobody's using paper anymore, that's the thing. Chloe runs a stationery shop in Porcupine with her brother, Louis. No pedestrian zone is complete without a hair salon. At least this one doesn't have some labor pun in, in, in its name. Head today, gone tomorrow. Curl up and die. Shortcuts. I've seen them all before and every time they make my skin crawl. Oh! Are you kidding me? Look at what she just did! <laughs> Fimbo! Uh, are you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, am I dead? <laughs> oh man, he actually turned me white. You're the unluckiest person I know. You know that, right? <laughs> I just wanted to come and help. Mm, I know, I know, thanks. And you really have to. What do you mean? Well, I need an idea for my facade. Looks like you've sorted that out for me. <laughs> well, I'm just glad I brought all the plants in first. Uh, that looks good to you, actually. You should wear it more often. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Absolutely. It adds that much needed touch of color to your face. Uh, what if it dried on me? Do you want to come in and wash up? I better have, right? Uh, don't want to strain the beds in the uh, world later. <laughs> Let's get to it then. That's my super duper fast dry paint towel you're wearing there. Hopefully it's gonna come out, right? Oh god, it didn't come out properly. That's more like it. Uh, you really are walking the disaster area, aren't ya? <laughs> First, a box hits you on the head. Now, a bucket of paint. Uh, Maybe it really is just about my bad luck. You know what I just realized? I haven't even been inside your store before. Nice place you have here. I'm impressed. Thank you. I put a lot of work into it. How's business going though? Well, how do you think? I love my plans. And so does everyone else. Are you still looking for an assistant? Uh, well, if you're interested in the position, I'll be expecting a formal application, young man. <laughs> hey, it was worth a shot. <laughs> How's your head? Mm, I'm starting to get used to the bumps. Well, we'll buy you a helmet with a capital F on it. That way, everyone can see you coming. <laughs> and read my hair? <laughs> Never. Have you got any time for a day out tomorrow? Well, you know I don't actually want a helmet, right? <laughs> no, I actually want to go to the Glow Milk Woods. Want to come with me? Finley? Can you hear me? Uh, hello? Oh, wait, what? Hmm, I think I still have paint in my ears. <laughs> Some careless person dropped a bucket on my head. <laughs> I'm really sorry. It's alright. Yeah, I'm in. Woodlands air, good for the health. Great. Okay, time for me to head off to my night shift. See you tomorrow then. Uh, we'll just meet up at the store again, okay? And watch ahead, Finley. Um, apparently I didn't really help him much. I just washed up. Do you want all your flowers with this tap? What? No. You've got some strange notions about about how my job works. Oh, they have so many flowers. Whoa, that's a lot of plants. Yep, raised them all myself. Is my plant from this shelf too? Yep, I picked out a really pretty one for you. Ah, uh, thanks, but I think they're all pretty. <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. I think it's time for a, ni a night shift and it's definitely time for a night shift because it's already nighttime. That's Pina's car. Room for two people and 38 plants. Amazing how clear it is for someone in a touch up with nature. Alright, let's keep her going. Our night shift is starting and I'm already dirty of paint. I'm super curious to see what people are gonna say about me uh, having a bucket of paint on my head again. They're probably gonna make fun of me again. Wait, what is this? Is this a supermarket? The grocery store is just about to close. It doesn't matter where you are. This is when people suddenly decide it's the best time to go shopping. Man, but nighttime in this game is so crazy and dark. Look at this guy. Yo, hey, Doc. Larissa, good to see you. How are you doing? Great. I'm free again? Very good. And how's your asthma? Well, it's not giving me any problems at all. 
at least not till yet, I got one of those inhaler things. I even got to choose the color. Really? What did you go for? I... I ended up getting three. <laughs> I couldn't make up my mind. <laughs> By the way, Doc, I love the new look. New look? Yo, oh, uh, nothing. Uh, <laughs> oh God, he's talking about the paint on my face. Thank you, dude. Today was the first time I met a farmer patient of mine in town. Feels strange. I really hope Larissa will learn uh, to live with her asthma. Yep, hopefully she will. I am so curious to see what's gonna happen during the na during the uh, night shift in the hospital. I have a feeling it's gonna be a very creepy episode. All right, there we go. Oh, come in, get me, Ollie, if you dare. <laughs> Jelly legs, scaredy cat. <laughs> What the heck was that? Sansil! Why are you always such a chicken? Come here! <laughs> Who's that all about? Hey, no rain down here! Ugh, my old nerves. I don't know what that was all about. What's going on here? Ugh, the Henderson's what's going on. They brought those two punks in the morning. Emergency, they said. Really? They seem pretty healthy to me. <laughs> Boys is more like it. That pair can't stay in their beds for more than one minute. They're always bickering. Mm. Should I go check on them? I'm sure you get to know them soon enough. In fact, they're both in your ward. Someone probably should check on them though. Otherwise, we'll need two body bags before the day's out. <laughs> oh my god. Now, didn't they go outside? Um. Yeah, I got no clue where they are. They definitely went this way, but I guess they're back inside. Anyway, uh, let me make my way upstairs and see if I can find them. This piece of paper again. All right, so we got to go to floor number three because that's where my word is for the day. <laughs> I'm so dirty. Oh! Hi, Finley! Yeah, you look rushed off your feet. Busy day, huh? Yeah, it's been kinda crazy. The Hendersons in room 302 wouldn't keep still for five minutes. I can't deal with that kind of thing. Yeah, I just saw those two myself. Really? Where? Uh, downstairs, at the main entrance. Oh dear, and I just got them back into bed. Anything I need to know? Well, the Hendersons poisoned each other. What? Were they trying to kill each other? No, 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 no. Uh, it was a dare, but I'm sure they can explain it better themselves. I'll be looking into it right away then. It can't be that bad, the way they're running around. Hmm, I don't know. The test we took at the lunchtime didn't look so great. You definitely won't get bored anyway. And I... I'm going now. <laughs> All I want to do is just lay down on the couch. Hmm, you earned it. Get some rest. See you tomorrow. Break a leg. Alright, so I'm guessing I'm getting a hair shift, so I gotta do my job here. Alright, um... Let us see... If I have any tasks for today. Schedule updated. Alright, so we got P31, 302, and 302 for the two brothers. First night shift, huh? Hmm, everything good with you? Handling the shift okay so far? Yeah, it's really quiet here at this time of night. Well, we call that tiredness. The staff have it, the patients do. Everyone's tired, I love the atmosphere it creates. The stillness really gives the mind space to work. You can't think about things that you don't get time during the, the, daily, uh, the daily work, I guess. For now, I'll just try to do my duties properly. That's a good idea too. Even when Dr. Kowalski isn't here, sometimes I can feel her cold breath on the back of my neck. <laughs> All right, let's go for P31 before the old lady is gonna go to sleep. Let us see how she's doing, and then I'm gonna check on the two brothers. Oh, hi Irma, how are you doing this evening? Ah, oh, beautiful, isn't it? The fall. It's just a pity it always gets dark so early. I wouldn't mind a few more hours of sunshine. It's bright enough in here though, luckily. True, but a long walk in the fall air would do me good. Still, you're right. You know, when I was young, light wasn't a given. We always had to catch it first. Catch it? Yeah, the light. It used to be more agile than we used to uh, than we used today. It was quite uh, tricksy. I'll tell you the story if you like. 
Sure, tell me more. <laughs> right, but only if I'm not keeping you from your work. It's okay. Think of it as part of my job. That's true. I'm your patient after all. All right, well, let's see now. Before there were street lights in Porcupine, we had to come up with other solutions if we wanted to read the night. That's where a trained light catches like me comes in. Catching light isn't easy, of course. You can't just open a jar in the morning and put the light and put the lid when it's uh, full. Try it, and you won't get far, I'll tell you right now. The thing is, light is fantastically fast. There is nothing faster than light. By the time you put the lid on, the light's already sneaked out again. Then night comes, and everyone's stumbling about in their pajamas again. Anyway, uh, no one knew what to do, of course. I tried putting out bait. Maybe the light would like peas too, or chocolate truffles. But it didn't. What I liked were the pears my husband, Gilbert, had grown in the garden. One night, I saw these little lights swirling around the pears and settling on their skins. Eureka, I thought. Irma, now you got it. It's hard to screw fruit in a lamp, of course, so I asked the local uh, glass blower to make us pear-shaped jars. And what do you know? Once we began using pear-shaped glass, or bulbs, as the glass blower called them, the light came into our parlors at the speed of light and we could finally read at night. Of course, nowadays we use electricity to trickle the light, so it knows when to come and go. Light switch on, light switch off. You know how it works. Light switch off, you know how it works. And that's how I become a light catcher. If I'm honest though, I never actually caught the lights. It's far too fast for that, you know. Anyway, that's how things were back then. <laughs> hmm, I never be good at physics, but it all makes sense now. I'll take a closer look at my lamps at home. Alright, now you told me all about catching the light, but how are you doing? How are you feeling today? I think... I don't know exactly. It's a strange feeling, not being able to answer the question. I haven't slept this much in years, and I'm feeling a little... chilly. Hmm, let me take a look. I only take a second. Hopefully she's not gonna pass away. It kind of feels like she is... Uh, not feeling well. Alright, hold up. Let me go with feet, teeth maybe, bones, and death. I didn't get anything right. Dang it. Okay, um, let's go with hand. Actually, I think I got three right, but not the positioning. Heart. Let's go with leg here and eye. All right, we got the hand right. Um, let me go with the bones, skull, and tooth. There we go. We got it all right. Perfect. I understand this puzzle how it works. Should we complete it? And we got an A. Not bad. Your fever is a little higher than before. At least we know it's pneumonia now. We're going to keep on giving you medication until the symptoms uh, subside. The most important thing is to bring your temperature down. That will help you sleep better too. Hmm, my goodness me. This wouldn't have been so much trouble when I was younger. Yeah, unfortunately the immune system weakens with age. Well, looks like you're stuck with me a little longer, doctor. <laughs> the weird old lady with her old ball stories. How terrible. Yeah, you don't know what we got yourself into. Occupation hazard. You sleep better now, okay? You need to get you need to get yourself some rest. Then we'll soon have you back on track. I know I'm a doctor and it's a bit of a cliche, but sleep really is usually the best medicine. I agree. Thanks. All right, uh, we are done with uh, old Irma. Next up is I, it's time to deal with uh, the two brothers. Hopefully, this is not gonna be a big pain. Uh, so they're both on three o two. Oh, there's one. That's stupid. You're stupid. You. No, you. Ah, <laughs> uh, you think you're funny, huh? No, I don't. I, I think you're stupid. <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> uh, what's going on here? Uh, Rudy really stole my desserts. That's not true. You just didn't get any desserts. What can I do about that? Liar. You're mean. No, you're mean. I didn't do anything. You always say that. Mm. Baker, quitter, I drank half the bottle. 
Yeah, right. I saw you spit it out. Uh, because I had to puke. Mm, I puked first. <laughs> Boys. He always starts it. Mm, he never stops. Boys. Oh, God. You're suffering from fever, vomiting, diarrhea, and headache. May I ask why? Mold fights. Yeah, mold fights. Do I even want to know? <laughs> well, we found this moldy old bottle in the basement. Orange juice. Champagne. Uh, it was fermented, frothly orange juice. No, gloopy yellow champagne. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Let's take a closer look now. Uh, which one of you is Oliver? Here. Ha, <laughs> Oli's always first. First in losing, maybe, blockheads. <laughs> Oli is the toughest guy. What are we going to do now? I'm going to have to give you an injection. Uh, wait, what? No way, Nilo's are totally lame. <laughs> he's scared. Look, he's shaking. I'm so not shaking. Come on, Doc. Let's get this over with. <laughs> These guys are so annoying. Hold still, please. This won't take a moment. Use A to find the best place to insert the needle. Once you've done it, hold A to draw the right amount of blood or administer the right amount of medicine. Okay. Uh, how do you even find the vein? Isn't the vein supposed to be the red one? I don't know. Let's go here. Oh, God. Uh, uh, I guess you gotta put it up in here. There we go. Hopefully I got it right. Did we complete it? And we got a B? Come on. <laughs> what the heck? What gives? Right. Hold on. Look, I didn't feel a thing. Piece of cake. <laughs> Face it, I'm just really brave. They probably gave it the uh, kitty injection. That's not sweet. I can do it too. Okay, you must be uh, rooted then, hey? Uh, I'm going to give exactly the same thing. Here we go. Alright, let's see if I can do it better with this guy then, because I didn't really understood how it worked. I'm gonna make I gotta go here, to be honest. Dude, stop. Stop moving. Oh, God. <laughs> These guys moving. Oh, I guess you gotta give it by the uh, the line there, the green line, in order to get an A, right? Nope, we gotta be again. Gosh dang it. I shook less than Ollie, didn't I, Doc? <laughs> Liar. Come on, Doc. You know I was the best. Uh, whatever it was you drank, it's infected you with bacteria. Shigelia, this is no joke. Yeah, Shigelia fight. No, not Shigelia fight. This is serious. You've got a disease called Shigeliosis, which can get really nasty. Both of you are still contagious. We're going to need to implement hygiene and safety precautions to make sure no one else on the ward catches your disease. But I got more Shigeliosis than Oli, right? Have not. Have two. <laughs> Your diagnosis is exactly the same, Rudy. Ha! <laughs> Boys! Yes? Forget it. <laughs> Alright, I think we're done with them. Uh, they're just the worst. Let's get out of here. Uh, am I supposed to chat with them? That's stupid. You're stupid. You! No, you! Uh, you think you're funny, huh? No, I don't think. I think you're stupid. <laughs> we gotta get out of here, though. No, come on. Stop. Stop talking about it. We gotta get out of here. They're just gonna keep on talking about the same old thing. They're never going to stop. Hey, Philly. Hey, Carl. How's it going, buddy? Pretty well. Actually, people are sleeping well today. Sandra and I even had time for a round of a UCT. UCT? Uh, you were in Cup Toss. Is that a thing? Sure. There are even national tournaments. It's a big deal in the nursing community. Sandra and I are on a Team Ursula. We've been training. It's one of those things you can only really do at night. But that's not what I came here for. Your razor sharp sense have uh, probably already told you this, but Kowalski isn't here tonight. Thanks to the outstanding shameless planning of the work Rhoda, there's actually no war supervisor here at all tonight. As the most senior person here, that leave me in charge of the most of the tasks until Dr. Kowalski gets back on shift tomorrow. Hmm, that doesn't sound so bad. Well, it sure isn't. However, it does mean that I need to sign off on your treatment outcomes. That's a pain, a thankless task. You won't win many friends that way, you know. All right, let's get this over with. Is he actually gonna check on my tasks? Oh, he gave me a B. <laughs> because, of course, I messed up with those two brothers. 
Well, what can I say? I think that all's good. Considering how new you are, there's nothing to complain about here. Way to go, Finley. Really? So, how was that? Did I sound like Dr. Kowalski? Or Kakowski? I feel weird. It's okay, Carl. Don't worry about it. This was so much nicer than the lectures I get from Dr. Kakowski. <laughs> Alright, I think the rest of the night will be a quiet one then. Put your feet up a little and try to relax. We'll do another quick round before the end of the shift. Then, that's it. Well, hopefully everything is going to be alright. I think I gotta go to the cafeteria to be honest. Or maybe the uh, resting room on the left side over here. And uh, wait for the night shift to end. Ah, uh, excuse me? Can someone help me please? Dad, there's water dripping through the ceiling. I'm all wet. Hmm, that's coming from P31. Is that Irma? I'd better check on it. Oh god. I think I think things are starting to um bad things are starting to happen now. Oh, it is dripping. Irma, what's going on here? You're soaked to the bone. Uh, there you are. I don't know. I was just lying here and suddenly my blanket wet, was wet. Believe you me, it was quite a relief when I realized it w when I realized it wasn't my fault. I thought I was really getting decreed. Godness, it feels like that time of a uh, whatever burst. It was little Giuliano's birthday and he wanted a party party. I had no idea he was going to wake up early wearing his party costume. Those sweat party hooks were pretty sharp back in the day, you know. Uh, hold on, just let me push you out of the way here. So I'm so sorry about this. We'll take care of you right away. Then we'll get you some new clothes and an extra cozy blanket. What's going on here? Carl, it's raining from the ceiling. Uh, I can see that. Let's go upstairs and see where the water's coming from. What about Irma? Holy hotspot, what's going on here? Sandra, good to see you. I thought you guys were having a party. Can you take care of Mrs. Uh, Dicoma? She's in urgent need of fresh clothes and a bedding. Uh, sure, no problem. I was just about to do anyway. Philly, we need to fetch Gregor and let him know. He's been working on the fourth floor ward all day. Let's try, let's try there first. All right, let's go. Irma, someone's going to come and take care of you right away, okay? Thank you. It's getting a little chilly under this groan. You guys head upstairs. I take care of the patients. Luckily, we got a free bed in 303. Thanks, Sandra. Come on, Finley. Let's go check upstairs. Okay, uh, we'd better hurry. I didn't bring my swimming shorts. Well, whatever happens, we gotta go check. As I was saying, apparently during the night shift, weird things are happening in the uh, hospital. So the water's not coming from the hallway. So I'm gonna be guessing it's coming from the left side. Uh, can we chat with this guy? Oh my, I'm glad my room's at the other end of the words. Should we call the fire service or something? Oh, what the heck is happening here? There's water in one of the patient's rooms. You don't say, kids. Last I checked, they weren't building a swimming pool on this floor. Hmm. Don't you think we need to find the cause of it? I'm on it, kids. But if you want to help, go up a floor. To the fifth floor? But it's locked and closed off. Oh, we got a key. Here's the key. Use this to unlock the door at the top of the uh, staircase. Just don't tell Theobald, okay? I mean, enough trouble with him as is. You go on ahead. I'll be there in a minute. Are you kidding me? Alright. Let's go see what's happening. And I have a feeling if this one is closed off, it's probably going to be super... Oh, yep, I knew it. It's going to be super, super dark. And creepy and everything. What's the matter? Nothing. Everything's okay. What are you waiting for, then? I'm not waiting for anything. I think he's afraid. You're not scared, are you? No, I'm not scared. It's just the last time I was up here. I had the accident. Hmm, that's right, but this time I'm here. I'll look out for you. It's just an ordinary hospital word, except for the smell, maybe. Yeah, you're right. It's just a word, like all the others. All right then, let's go in and see what the where the water is coming from. Oh god, I knew it's gonna be creepy. Wait, can I go this way? So I'm gonna be guessing we gotta go to the right side then to find out uh, where the water is coming from. Man, this place is super creepy during the night time. What the heck? This hallway is so long. Of course, it's a pipe. Hmm. 
Scar, look up there. The pipes burst. Ah, I can see that. And I can feel it too. My clothes are already soaked. How could something like this happen? Hmm, the whole pipes basically turn to rust. Well, you see yourself how dangerous it gets up here. This world's ruined now. Maybe it really was for the best to just shut it down. What a mildew infested dump. Oh, I heard something. Oh, is this guy? Never mind. I've said it time and time again, but no one listens to the old Gregor, do they? Even though he's the one who has to handle things every time. Have you seen it, Gregor? Yeah, the heating pipes bust. Hold on. I think it's gonna stop the water so it stops leaking. Yep, there we go. Oh, there's so many holes in the pipes, though. There's one on the left side as well. Old Gregor doesn't have it easy. Old Ursula's been through a lot over the last few decades. I do what I can. But I can't be everywhere at once. But when I'm not here, no one takes care of the old lady. And I want the old lady to be alright. Even if I don't have the resources or the time. Or the back of a 20 year old. As long as old Gregor is still standing, Ursula will too, alright? Thank you, Mr. Glendower. Don't be so dramatic, you old fart. <laughs> I'll be on my way then. I have a look at the pipe over the next few days. Right now, I've got other things to do. Hmm. Sounds like the hospital is important to him. Could be, I guess. You were pretty hard on him. Yeah, why not? We've had our share of arguments. He's never around when I need him. I can't really rely on him. Take today, for instance. Who found the broken pipe? We did. Who arranged for repairs when the elevator got stuck? We did. Yeah, well, I did. <laughs> You did! All that old fart has to do is slap some tape on it and it's all good. Mm -hmm, if you say so. Well, everything's okay? Yeah, I don't know. I feel funny. What do you mean? Are you sick? No, but I haven't been up here since the accident. So? Well... Everything's gone. The desk, the blood, the eerie noises. Hmm, what are you talking about? Do you even remember what happened? Yeah, I do, but wait. How do you know what happened? I was the one who found you up here. Really? Yeah, you and old Arndt. Hmm, and didn't see anything out of the ordinary? Well, two bleeding and unresponsive people lying on the floor isn't exactly what I call ordinary. I was looking for Arndt. Then I heard a bang, so I rushed up here straight away. I actually thought you couldn't get up here anymore, but it looks like I was wrong. You two clearly managed it. I dragged you both to the door. Then Dimi and Archie helped me carry you. You're lucky they happened to be in the stairwell. They were looking to grab a cup of coffee. For someone so small, you're pretty heavy, you know that. <laughs> Did you see anything else? Was there anyone else here? Finley, it was just the two of you, half buried under a load of boxes. I promise. What would I lie to you? This was a disaster area. That's why it was shut down a few years ago. Now it's just for storage. Everyone dumps their junk here. No one really looks after it. It was only a matter of time before someone got hurt. Mr. Ernst ended up uh, here by mistake. He was very confused. He pulled out his drip and then merely started bleeding all over the place. He probably tripped over his own uh, tubes or dumped his head. And when you went after him, the whole pile of junk just collapsed on you yourself. Oh, man. Yeah, he was quite a mess. Anyway, wanna head back downstairs? Yeah, in a minute. Uh, I've got one more question. What happened here? Why is this word closed? Look at it, it's a huge word. We could use this space. Well, St. Ursula's has a long history. This used to be the internal one, uh, word, I guess. Spent my first few years at the hospital up here. That, that was a long time ago, though. At some point, they realized the damp was getting into the walls. Hospital management decided to close the ward. The staff even held the vote, and most of us were just in favor, I guess. They said they'd fix it up again once they had the money. And as you can see, that hasn't happened yet. I see. Do you think they'll never get the ward up and running again? It'd be a shame if they just left it in here to rot. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on it. We've basically gotten used to it over the years. And it gives folks a place to dump their old junk. Hmm. Can we go back downstairs now? I've got a few more things to do today. Sun's going to come out very soon too. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, and Carl? What now? I... Thanks for holding me down from here after the accident. That must have been hard work. <laughs> you bet your sweat buddy was. You're lucky I'm such an athlete. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Well, that was a night. And now I can go back 
and get some rest. Oh, this guy. Hey, morning there. Rough night, huh? Yeah, good morning. Just finished my first night shift. Guess I'm not quite used to it yet. Ah, uh, the old night drink a ton, eh? I don't do that anymore. I need my sleep. Me too. Now I'm going to lie down. You do that. I'll keep watch out here. Don't want the postman or the garbage collector disturbing your rest. <laughs> Alright, buddy. See you tomorrow. Hey, okay. Almost all the boxes are unpacked. But I still need to do a few chores. The way things have been, I'll never get around to it during the week. Weird. Why am I excited about having time to clean? Times change, I guess. <laughs> am I actually going to have to clean around? I also have a ball for some reason lying about. That is so weird. And apparently we are going to have a little bit of time to clean up here. Hmm, interesting. All right, anyway, guys, I think it's going to be the end of this episode of Fall of Porcupine. And we'll come back the next one. I'm going to have to clean up a little bit and then head on back to work as usual. But until next time, everybody, stay safe out there and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.